Hi guys, I just wanted to give you a little bit of guidance on the lab that we're doing this week. When you open the link in Google Classroom, it will take you to this page. You're going to click the play button to open up the lab. And then you'll have the choice of either the plum pudding model of the atom or Rutherford's model of the atom. For this lab, you're going to start with the plum pudding model. So you'll open that one up first. A few things to note about this part of the simulation. This little blue button over here will start sending alpha particles through your atoms. You have a little button on the side that says traces. If you check mark this box, it will show lines um, that show the path the alpha particles are taking. And you can adjust the energy level of the alpha particles. You can move this slider bar to go from minimum to maximum energy. You'll use this part of the lab to answer the first few questions in the Google form. Once you get to the part of the lab that asks you to switch to the Rutherford model of the atom, you're going to click this button on the bottom, and that will shift to a different atomic model. Some of the controls are the same as before. You still have this blue button here to send alpha particles through. You can still turn on traces to see where those particles are traveling. And you can adjust the energy level from minimum to maximum with a slider bar again. The thing that's different in this section of the lab is that you can adjust the number of protons and number of neutrons in your atom. So you can use this slider bar or the arrows to adjust your number of protons and neutrons. If you need any other help with this lab, please make sure you reach out to myself or Mr. Blount.